All right, guys, so we are in week nine, learning at home. Last week, you had a chance to look at figurative language in poetry. This week, we're going to be given fiction text to look at. You're gonna have three fiction texts to choose from, some stories that's given to you in your learning at home packet. If you have a chance, you might wanna kind of choose that before you look at this lesson um, to guide you through. So, of course, of course, you know where to find that on the district website. If you have that packet in front of you, great. If not, you might want to pause your device and look through that on the district website. Um, you'll need something to write with. The paper is also provided for you in your learning at home packet, ways to respond to the text this week. So you get lots of choices. You get to choose your story and you get to choose how you're going to complete your reading response. So very exciting. If you didn't print out the paper, you can always sketch it out as well. And we'll kind of talk about that as the lesson goes on, okay? I'm so excited to see your reading responses this week. All right, so we know that good readers think about lots of things as they're reading. We're gonna focus right now on the main character, events in the story, and theme. So as I was looking at your materials this week, of course, you know what popped out to me, Harry Potter. So my favorite story, one of my favorite stories. Um, I pulled out my book, Harry Potter, and this is the way it's published in England, is um, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Here in the United States, it's published as Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. So let's think about, when we're thinking about main character, and we know our main character in this story is Harry Potter. So when we're reading and we're thinking about the main character, what are some things that pop out to us as we're thinking about the main character. We talked about this, we discussed this when we were learning in person during school, okay? So right now, I want you to think about the main character. What are the important things that we're thinking as a good reader when we're thinking about the main character? What are his or her or their, hmm, their what? Their character, important things about them. We call them something. They're something that describes them. Then what are their things that drive them throughout the story? Okay. Things, how they interact with other, right? So let's look at those points. Okay, so I was thinking character traits. What are the, how would I describe this character? He's brave, right? He's determined. What were his choices and motivations throughout the story? What was driving him throughout the story? He was very driven by the death of his mother and father. That drove a lot of his choices throughout. His relationships with his friends, with Ron and Hermione. He changed as a person throughout the story. He went through many changes. So that's what your good readers are thinking about as they're reading their story. And definitely you reflect about that after you're done with your story as well. All right, events in the story. What happens in the story? Something is introduced definitely. I want you to think about what that something is. What is that something that's introduced in the story? I think you got it. The what? Yeah. What else? What else is important about the events? Okay. Anything else? All right, let's see. So the problem, I know you were all thinking that out there. The problem is introduced in this story. And something probably very important, there's probably one important event that's driving our character too. A resolution. There's probably an interesting or favorite part that's going to stand out to you. So I know Harry Potter's problem is that he, from a very young age, is faced with having to fight he who must not be named. Okay. And that important event that drives him is, yeah, that death of his mother and father. 
his problem does get solved in each story there he's faced with a big problem and he overcomes it over and over again okay in each book there always is an interesting or favorite part that i'm always drawn to i love in the very first book how the um friendships he builds with um ron and hermione and then theme what did we learn about theme this year what are the things we're thinking about as we're reading a story? What sticks out to you about theme? Okay. It's a big picture. I know I remember us always thinking about what was the big picture when we were reading our read alouds, we always reflected on that. All right, a character is often gonna learn a lesson. And there's always going to be text evidence to support that. We as readers can often learn lessons from that as well. And we always can maybe make a connection. We sometimes we make great connections with those stories. Often we're, we're really connecting with them. I think a big theme in the Harry Potter stories are resilience. I mean, he gets knocked down, but boy, does he get back up again. I think that's something great that we can all relate to. All right. So these are some ways that you're going to respond to your reading this week. You could write a letter. You could tell a friend why they should read a story or write to a character in the story. So it's often great to recommend a book or a story to a friend, but then tell them why you think it's so important that they should write it. Oh, I'm sorry, why they should read it then it was often fun to think about relating to that character, how you just want to dive right in and just wish that character was real and write to that character. That's a great way to respond to a text. Making a poster. You do not have to go out and buy a poster board. This paper is provided for you in your learning at home materials, but think about events in the story. What's the problem? What's the resolution? What was your favorite part? What's the most interesting part in the story? Okay. Why did the care? What did the character learn? Get creative and have Fun. So this is an example from a story called Mango Abuela and Me. And you can see all the great things this reader did. Use a comic, use the comic strip panels that are very familiar to you by now to write about a fiction text. Write about the main character in the story, the events in the story, or the theme and lesson learned. The, what was the Favorite, what was your favorite or most interesting part? You could even write a different ending. I love when I think about, man, I wish the book just ended this way. You have the power to do that. Get creative. All right, so I'm going to show you my example. Um, I did one, of course, you know how I feel about this guy. So I did one on Harry Potter. Um, Harry Potter was destined to fight. So this is like a poster. He, who must not be named since he was a baby and he didn't even know he was a wizard. In Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, we know this is how we're familiar with seeing the cover here in the States. His problem was that Lord Voldemort was attempting to rise again and he needs the Sorcerer's Stone to do it. Harry Potter, with the help of his his new friends figures out that Voldemort is hanging out in his professor's head and he stops him. And I love the bonds of true friendship that he makes in this book. This is kind of the example that I did just using the idea of making a poster. So these are the texts that you have to choose from. Um, they're, again, in your learning at home materials. You can read your fiction text. Maybe you want to just read it one day and kind of get familiar with it. Again, thinking about main character, thinking about events, and thinking about theme. Then you can choose how you want to respond. If you want to do a letter, if you want to do a poster, or if you want to do use those comic strip panels. You get to choose. Get creative. Okay? You could even continue the story if you want to. So at your own pace, you might want to read one day and then you next day you might want to choose how you're going to respond and then complete that response. If you have time, you might want to choose 
one of these stories again and do it again. And like I said at the beginning of this lesson, if you really want to, and you have like a favorite book that we've been talking about on some of our Zooms that you've been reading, and you've completed that book, and you want to respond with that book, you may. Now, these are the papers that are given to you in your learning at home materials. If you choose to use these, that's great. You can always draw them out on paper that you have at home and use them that way. Guys, whatever you choose to do, just have fun. See you next time.